Welcome. This is a quick walkthrough of the accelerometer based wireless patient movement monitoring system. That's a mouthful. The idea of the system is to monitor patient movement while under when they are undergoing radiation treatment for cancer. The system is based off an accelerometer which is embedded inside this headband right here. The headband goes around the patient's head, chin, or anywhere that on the body that uh, movement monitoring is desired. There's a wire that plugs into the transmitter module. There's an on-off switch here an LED indicator that tells you if it's on or off and a plug that's just a standard phone plug just plug it in easy runs on two AA batteries which are inside the plastic enclosure can be unscrewed and replaced fresh batteries are recommended for optimal operation this is the wireless receiver module it's USB, plugs into the computer, and that's pretty much all the hardware. It's a simple system, not much to it. Then we go to the program. Currently, before I show you that, I have a serial board connected to the computer. I'm not using the wireless. This is the XB transceiver module. There's one of these in the receiver unit I just showed you. It's running, as I said, serially, serially into the computer. Right now you see there's a red light blinking. That means that the receiver is not, or the transmitter is not turned on. When I turn it on, we get green lights blinking that means the two units are communicating. So we take that to the program. There are a few things, a few indicators on the program, a few controls. The first thing you want to do is check your Visa resource name. You can find out what COM port the XB receiver is using if you go into the program XCTU. Um, then you go in here, you might want to hit refresh because the COM port uh, numbers do tend to change. So I believe this is set up on COM10. And to start the program, we go to the upper left hand corner and hit this run arrow. So since we have data, we have good numbers coming through that means it's working you will see this loop string indicator this is the hex data that is received from the XB um, and you see these numbers moving that means it's receiving data so here we have a right and left hand tilt indicator and then we have an up and down tilt indicator. This is our X and Y axis. Um, when we move them we will see those indicators move. Right now I am moving the up and down, up and down. So you see movement right left, right left. It's kind of jumping around. Over here we have a waveform chart that is showing all the levels of the different axes. You see up, down, up, down. Up in this corner we have the raw data from the XB. We have a signal strength indicator. As I bring the XB unit away from the base, the signal strength should go down. It tells you if you're too far out of range it's not going to work properly. Back over to this 
section, the tilt indicators, there's this X and Y lock enable buttons. And when you have the patient situated on the bench, you're going to want to press these buttons and turn the alarms on and then you can set your tolerance here. Right now I have it set for five degrees of tolerance. So if the patient moves from 15 degrees to 20 degrees, the alarm will go off. So right now, I just showed you, the patient moved with beyond the limitations of the tolerance, so we hear beeping. If you're annoyed by that beeping, there's a button right here to mute it. When the light is on, it's on. When it's off, there is no beeping. It'll still show you that the patient has moved outside of the tolerance, just no beeping. Okay, so those green lights, that means everything's good. There's a stable indicator, but when we move outside of the tolerance, stable indicator goes out, red light comes on, says the patient's moving, and it actually tells you which direction the patient has moved from his from the locked position where he initially was. Now I just moved back to where he started. It's very sensitive so now we got it back within the tolerance. He started at 16 degrees. He's at 13 or 14 degrees right now within the 5 degrees tolerance. Um, there is also a recording function over here where it'll <clears throat> compile uh, the X, Y, and Z axes into a spreadsheet document if you press that record data. You just set the, the um, path and press record. I think that's everything. It's a pretty simple system, very useful. Once I turn, I'm going to come over here and turn off the receiver. We notice everything kind of just freezes. This loop string, the numbers are not moving. We just got divide by zero error. And that means something's wrong. If I turn it back on, instantly get the numbers back. Alright, I think that's it in a nutshell. Hope you've enjoyed this presentation.